There's a lot of people feeding birds. Almost half of U.S. households feed birds. That's a lot of bird seed. But is all that extra food helping birds or harming them? I had to find out. So join me as we examine bird feeders. Does it help? Bird feeders help birds get through rough times in the winter, roughly doubling the survival rate of chickadees in one study. The birds with access to feeders also make it through the winter with more fat reserves, just in time for breeding season. So it shouldn't be surprising that birds with access to feeders also have more eggs and babies in most studies. I think one of the biggest benefits of bird feeding is that it gives people a connection to birds and a reason to care. This is my opinion, but I don't think that watching nature shows will turn people into bird-watching conservationists, at least not at the same rate as watching real birds. Does it harm? Bird feeders bring together large groups of birds in one spot, and that is an ideal place for parasites and disease to spread. Boo! There's one more problem with large groups of birds in one spot. Predators. Uh-oh. Anything that eats birds will have an easy meal. And there's one more problem. If a feeder is near your house, birds may crash into your windows. As we learned in a previous video called Can Birds See Glass? Spoiler alert, they can't. And collisions can be fatal. Ouch! Now that we know the pros and cons, is bird feeding helpful or not? If bird feeders are bad for birds, the species visiting feeders should be doing the worst. A study was done to test this exact hypothesis. They found that birds which visit feeders regularly are doing fine compared to species that visit feeders less regularly. So, if you want to feed birds, what's the best way to do it? We want to do the greatest good with the least harm. The greatest good. A feeder specialized for your favorite type of bird, regularly stocked with whatever seed that type of bird eats, with lots of perches around. Easy! The least harm. We had three main problems, so let's fix each of them in turn. Number one, disease. Take your feeder down regularly, like every couple weeks, and clean it the same way you would clean your other dishes. Number two, predators. If you see evidence of a predator hanging around, take the feeder down for a few days. The birds will disperse and the predator will move on. Number three, glass. You can put window stickers or special screens on your windows to protect birds. Guidelines from the Audubon Society and the Humane Society recommend that feeders should either be closer than 3 feet or further than 30 feet from a window. I wanted to research this before recommending it, but I am in favor of feeding birds using bird feeders. It seems to be a net positive for birds, so keep that seed coming. I appreciate you consuming this information. I hope it gave you some food for thought. There's a lot of bird videos on this channel that might turn you into a bird-watching conservationist, but not at the same rate as real birds. And please subscribe before you move on to a different feeder. I mean, channel. Thanks for stopping by to learn what makes life awesome.